just got kicked out of the game for talking shit to a girl James. For talking shit to my fucking husband. This is such fucking bullshit. Listen, let me tell you, LeBron James looked at my husband during the game and cussed him out, and I stood up and I go, don't fucking talk to my husband. Talk to my husband one more time and I will fuck you up. And he started fighting with me, he goes, shut your mouth, dumb bitch. And I go, you shut your fucking mouth, bitch. I'm minding my own business, and Chris has been a Hawks fan forever. He's been watching the games for 10 years, whatever. He has this issue with LeBron. I don't have an issue Le with LeBron. I don't give a fuck about LeBron. Anyway, I'm minding my own business, drinking my wine, having fun. All of a sudden, LeBron says something to my husband, and I, and I see this, and I go, I stand up and go, don't fucking talk to my husband. And he looks at me, and he goes, sit the fuck down, bitch. And I go, don't fucking call me a bitch. You sit the fuck. Down. Get the fuck out of here. And I go, don't fucking talk to my husband like that. Don't talk to my husband. And he literally was like, fuck you, bitch. Sit down, bitch. And all of a sudden, now I'm getting kicked out. Excuse me, I have courtside seats that I pay for. Fuck you, LeBron. You're a fucking pussy. Get the fuck out of here. You're going to let a 25-year-old girl intimidate you during a game? Bye, bitch. You know, he looked, I don't want to say he went overboard, but he went a little bit out of bounds, uh, you know, too close to, to comfort for me. And I said my piece, and we could have moved on. Um, but I think it was so close to the officials. I think the official heard it as well, what he just said. Um, and it kind of got blown out of proportion. You know, and it's just like sometimes on the floor when two guys get into a scuffle, you know, or, or get into a little, like, jostling, the refs come and try to break it up really fast, and it looks like it's bigger than what it really is. That's what it pretty much was tonight. But um, the difference... We're on the court and we're not having any alcoholic beverages. Um, so they might have had some alcoholic beverages on the side. So that could have, it made them feel a little tougher than what they really are, I would say. Just like Draymond. Draymond said it perfect. You were happy that this happened, right? That you enjoyed this. Who, me? Yes. I love our fans. Laker Nation and everybody else that's against Laker Nation. It just, it just feels better. Fans in the stands is just... It's just better. It's better for everybody. Especially on the last game of a 14-day road trip. <laughs> Me too. Hey, you ain't the only one. <laughs> 